Hello, this is Claude and uh, today I'm uh, doing a video about the new Rocat Kone Pure 2017 mouse. I uh, got it today. I uh, live in uh, Canada. There you go. Cats out of the bag. Uh, and I got it straight from Germany uh, today. Uh, this review is uh, not a, a review where uh, Rocat uh, sends you a mouse for free to review and all of that. Uh, I literally paid for the mouse and this is going to be a an unboxing and a quick review uh, based on the point of view of someone that did pay for his own mouse all right as you can see and you know that i already have the uh, Kone, uh, the Kone, the uh, the naval storm the Kone pure uh, naval storm um of a couple of years back with the uh, pixar 3310 sensor in it great mouse I've got the new EMP, Kony XTD, or the Kony EMP, which is the new version of the XTD optical here. Uh, this one is very plasticky on the side and all of that. I talked about it. This one here has the beautiful smooth finish with the weight system that the EMP doesn't have. Uh, I love the size, uh, the shape of these mice of the Kony versions. Uh, the issue that I have, this one is a bigger mouse. I've got the big, a bigger hand too, and I do the palm. This is great, very slippery. But I do love the uh, the the uh, Kone Pure size because it's easy when you travel. You can you know travel with that, still do your gaming on the go, and also even if I have a larger hand, I really like the feel of this mouse and I can use it very nicely. And here's my uh, Logitech G403, my reference mouse. That's what I use now on it. That's my daily driver right there. So that's what it is. So let's go back to that mouse. Uh, let's see what it says here. So it's got basically, that's the box. And uh, let's do the quick unboxing. Let's talk about the, the specs as well. Uh, Titan uh, 2D wheel. So it doesn't have the left and right, which you have on this mouse, on the EMP and the XTD. You can go left and right. You can assign some more macros to that in game. So I like that. Uh, this one on the EMP did not have the light. I love this. This to me is the best combination. It's got the black color that I love. The right size of the Kone Pure. It's got the low is going to be lighting up. Hopefully it's going to have the nice uh, uh, smooth rubbery finish that the Pure Military has got or the Pure has. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't. It's going to be more very plasticky like this one. But after the unboxing, we will see what it is. Anyway, 2D wheel. Uh, that's all right. Owl Isle optical sensor, uh, Pixar 3361. I can tell you the same on the EMP. It's an amazing sensor. I know I suck at CSGO. More headshots than ever with this mouse. So that's one of the things. So here it is. So um, Okay, so what uh, does the box say here? Uh, Rocket Owl Isle optical sensor. That's all the good stuff. That gives you one-to-one -one accuracy. We know that. It uses the Rocket Swarm uh, as well software, which I think sucks. Uh, I don't like the Swarm software. Uh, it uh, it adds less feature than the uh, usual, the old standalone version of the Kony Pure, for example, or the uh, the uh, Optical XTD. Swarm offers less customization. Um, so, you know, per question of taste, I don't like that. So anyway, that's it goes through the Swarm, uh, ergonomic design. The, 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 the Kony is, uh, the, is either you love it or you hate the shape. Nothing in, in between. Me, I love it. Because it gets that little kink back to the right and when I in game yeah, I've got the tendency to go vertically and because of the shape uh, it, it is better for me it helps me go straight uh, the Logitech here when I hold the Logitech uh, it kind of goes left like this and when I go there it, it, it gives more of an angle so that's the only drawback I've got for this and there's no XY adjustment with the Logitech which the naval storm here does have EMP does not have XY adjustment so you cannot do a correction with this one the XTD and the naval had that EMP doesn't have. This is the issue I've got with the uh, with the uh, new Swarm software. So we said that's what it is in the box. There it is, Rocat Kone Pure. That's the 2017, 12,000. Nobody's gonna go to that. You're gonna go 400, 600, 800, 1,000, 12, uh, 1,200 at best in game. Uh, that's it is the box. What does it say here? Whatever number of million colors. Who cares about that? Uh, here's gonna pro grip. <laughs> now this is a nice grip. This is a nice rubbery grip. You can feel, you can hear the, the niceness of this. Um, and the DPI changes button. These are the same thing as the other uh, Kony. So that's what it is. Side of the box, same thing. So we did that. Package contain. We're gonna see what it contains, and we're gonna open it. I'm just gonna go quickly over the box, seeing the cheapness, the, uh, how Rocat is going cheap. Maybe if you can reduce the price, but these these mice are expensive. 69 euro, I think I paid. 
converted in Canadian dollars. It's a, it's an arm and a leg plus shipping and all. It's, it's expensive. So that's what it is. If you look at compare the size of the box, bigger box. All right, nicer box. With this one, I'm going to show you with the Roca Pure Military box. You have this the little tabs here in store. You can go and oh, this is nice. Open it. You got the plastic cover here. As you can feel the mouse in, in your hand right there in the box. Close the box. It's got the little magnet as well. That's a quality box. You're impressed by that. You know it gives you oh, the mouse is going to be quality and it is. All right, get rid of that. And I forgot about this. Just like the EMP, stupid box, no little tab here and all that. Yeah, they, they go cheap. The thing is, oh, they reduce the cost. You can see it's a cost reduction issue. Uh, and usually if they reduce the, the cost on the box, and you would assume, oh, they're going to put more money on the uh, on, on the mouse itself. Uh, uh, wrong. They will not. They did not. So anyway, so we'll do that. Try not to screw up the box because I like to keep the boxes over time. Uh, there you go. Open this. As you can see, it's... Uh, Straight on. There you go. Put a little more blade to that. There you go. There it is. Open that. All right. Is this going to open another tab here? Supposed to cut away from the fingers, but there you go. All right. So let's open this sucker. All right. There you go. Put the blade in there. Get the stab out. There you go. Get this baby out. Okay. All right. Open sesame. There you go. What's else in the box? Nothing else in the box. Box doesn't open. Who cares? Box is on the wayside. Here it is. So what do we get? I always like to have my little rule cat stickers. Quick important information. Never read. That's probably why I've got always problems with with my mice and stuff. All right. Let's remove that. That's what it looks like in the in the thing. I like it. It's neat. All right. Remove that. Pull the cable. Out of the way, and I can already feel the little plasticiness. There you go. Come on here. All right. Here's the mouse. So let's see. So let's uh listen to that. Buttons, let's do the buttons here. And I've got my rule cat military, I'll do the same thing here. Just gonna disconnect it or else it's gonna start doing stuff on, on the computer. Left button. Naval. Right button. Right button. Loud noise. Just like the EMP, EMP had the same thing. Okay. All right. The thing here says that it's uh, this one was eighty-eight, uh, ninety-eight uh, grams. This one says it's eighty-eight. You know what? There's only one way to see if it's true. Bring all reliable right here. Put this here on this. Put it on. <laughs> With the help. All right. Uh, okay. Off. Put it on. Eighty-four. No cable really. Let's put a little cable on this. Eighty-six. Basically, it tells me eighty-six. Not bad at all. 86. That's a 6 right there. Maybe it's not going to show the camera. Shield the Naval Edition. A little bit of the cable. 100 was 98, but shows 100. And the other ones are 116, 118, and all of that. And that one, the Logitech, I don't remember how much is the Logitech. Logitech is uh, 98. About the same thing as the Naval Storm. So that's what it is. So, uh, yeah, I like that.
Let's go see here. All right, connect this back again here. Sorry about that. I'm going to connect the mouse here and see what it looks like with the software. So let's see. All right, like that. Let's see what it's going to do here. So I can put all these on the side. Maybe keep that nearby. All right, so let's see that it is. Let's see if it's the same dimension. Eh? So basically, it's about, uh, you know what, at the, at the sensor, right by this, under the sensor. Six centimeters. And just do that here from the bottom. Six by ten and a half. The other one, just by the sensor. Six. Ten and a half, more or less. Exactly the same thing, centimeters. Exactly the same thing. Let's see if there's any rattle of the, the sensor. All right, there's another one here. No rattle. Here I can sense a little rattle. You know what? I do sense something. I do sense something. Nothing here. A little rattly. All right, so that's what it is. And uh, let's go see online. Colony Pure All Our Isle. Rocket Swarm. Click on this. What does it say? What do you want me to do with that? Probably wants me to change the. All right. Okay. Please download the Connect Pure Isle. Okay. Now. Okay. New swarm available. Let's see what it does, what it says. Install now. Yeah. Okay, Rocat being Rocat. All right, download. Let's see that because once I, I, I download the driver, it's gonna probably tell me every time I connect to the stupid swarm, there's an upload, a, a new download, which is a, not a bad thing. But it always asks you to update the firmware, so we're gonna see if it's gonna ask me to update the firmware. It usually tells me to do that, so I'll, I'll see if it tells me to update the firmware. All right. Yeah. Something else. Install. Let's see what happens after that. And it keeps telling me there's a new swarm. This is why I say that's stupid. Real cat. What are you doing? I just updated it. Is there another one here? You know what? I'll do it again. So far is up to date. Then stop giving me a message. All right. Uh, Kony EMP is up to date. Uh, new update available for the owl eye. The Kony. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to let it work. Important, please do not unplug the device. Of course. But uh, are you downloading, uh, buddy? Am I supposed to do OK, do something? The Google tool will allow you to restore. It takes only one minute. Click record to start. Ah, got to read this thing here. And it tells me a new swarm update is available. That, no, there isn't. So anyway, so that's I'm doing it. Should have read it. Recover. To me, recover is uh, is when you screwed up and you have to go back. Now you recover to the previous version. So this is why a little misleading, but that's all right. Um, the beauty of uh, trying to shoot in one pass. That's what happens. All right, 55%. Good to go. Almost there. And uh, once you are done with it, usually it tells you, please disconnect the USB and reconnect after that to... Uh, to start again I'm laughing because I got my son here my teenage son is, is playing CSGO upstairs and is yelling like crazy a uh, firmware update all right please unplug and replay your device to USB port now press OK when done you know what this is telling my experience telling me you always have to really listen to it I've always had problems when I didn't do it by the sequence we tend to go too fast all the time so let's do that back on OK so uh, this is what it is this is the mouse a little rattly. Is there a difference between the uh, the wheels? You know what? There is. You can see that the, the, the thing here, the wheel here is wider than the new one. It's a, le a little bit narrower. And then uh, the you can see that the uh, in increments here on the rubber thing are wider and this is smaller. Is it going to make a difference? Probably not. I really love, I love that scroll wheel. Love it. This one. 
You know what? It's kind of bumpy. This one is. Sorry, but you know, this mouse is a little more weight in game. That's going to be good. Lighter. But feels more quality. Little rattle. And not as much like this. The other way there is. Uh, one of the things that um, I will see right now is the software. What happens with this. And let's go into the software. I'm going to close it. So here, let's see that. These are the options on the Kony and the Kony Pure 2017. All right, DPI switcher, 400, 800, no, 600, please, 600, give me 600. All right, 800, yeah, 1,000. I don't need more than that, 1,200 at most. When I'm really not in my game, I up it a little bit. Whoop. 1200 with the auto apply thing that I really like all right windows pointer speed yeah six no acceleration display pointer trail no lighting on and off I want it on I don't want it I want it just breathing is fine is it breathing nice yeah it is kind of breathing nice right okay that's fine uh, okay and then let's go at, after that so this is so you've got this uh, uh, thumbtack here. That's probably this for the most common things. Settings here, sensitivity zero, vertical. Uh, yeah, that's normal here. Scroll speed, okay, whatever. Double kick seven is the standard. DPI switcher, we did that for six, eight thousand, twelve hundred. Like it. W Windows pointer, this is six. This is by the default. This I like it. It's new. Didn't have that before. Uh, okay. Whoa. Okay, double click speed was at seven. I don't know we change that. All right, mouse acceleration, pointer trail. Don't want none of that crap. All right, button assignment. Uh, we can all change that. All right, uh, five obviously is going to be the uh, row cat function, and this is the easy a easy shift all devices. I like that like this. One is the click. Yeah, that's fine. Two is the menu. What the hell? Yeah, of course, of course. Three, uh, you know what? Three is not going to be universal scrolling. Yeah, okay, so three is going to be when I reload. So assign a macro. I already have my macros. And it's going to be just R. Do I have that now? Record a macro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want a macro here. Cancel that. Uh, three is going to be a uh, sign a hotkey. There you go. Create a hotkey. I just want to press a single key. It's going to be R for reload. There you go. Reload. So when I'm in game, schlack, reload is fine. Uh, okay, so then you can assign your function. And then I'm going to do that as well. Two. Assign a macro. My macro. Exec to exec. There you go. So when I click, I'm gonna do the shift click and the two button is gonna do run my auto exec with all my commands. So that's what it is more or less. Advanced settings, I want thousand, sound feedback, I want to have it deeper I change. Alright, let's hear the creepy voice with the change in DPI. One thousand two hundred DPI. One thousand DPI. Eight hundred DPI. Six hundred DPI. I love it. You know what? You're in game. 400 DPI. You need to see that. You need to hear that. So I love 600 it. 600 DPI. 800 DPI. 1000 DPI. 1200 DPI. There you go. Uh, difference with the old one is I think the voice is a little creepier on the old one. I prefer the uh, the, the the old voice. 800 DPI. 600 DPI. 500 DPI. 400 DPI. So let's go back if you go that and let's go back all the way down 400 dpi let's go then 500 dpi 600 dpi 800 dpi 1000 dpi 600 dpi 800 dpi 1000 dpi 1200 dpi it was creepier in this one and you're, you're in game you're uh, in annihilating opponents, destroying opponents. I want to hear 
1,200 DPI. I don't want to hear 1,000 DPI. 1,000 DPI. I want to hear that. 800 DPI. There you go. All right, that's it for the uh, creepy voice. Uh, that's it. Profile switch, no, because I don't do it. Distance control unit, low, that's fine. Reset settings, no, don't need to do that. Uh, here, I don't know why it brings back uh, that. A color flow on, uh, whatever it is. No color flow, okay. Give me a static color, probably. And give me my favorite dark blue. I like it like that. You know what? Give me green. There we go. There goes the green right there. And I'm going to keep it like that. All right. So that's what it is. One of the things that uh, did change a little bit versus the previous version. I'm going to show what it is. It's a longer video. It's getting to be long. I don't care. Uh, what you do here is that if you look at the older, uh, older version, pure military. There you go. So I'm going to tell you the difference and what I like with the uh, pure military versus this one. Uh, the pure military has got that. All right. So that's the difference. Uh, you got basically the same thing, all right. All the button assignment and all of that. It's pretty much the same thing here. Uh, what you have there, the sensor alignment, uh, it's off. But this is the um, basically where you can do the uh, the X Y axis. And me, when I shift, go left and right, I put it at minus three, and it just correct my vertical movement. If I go like this, it's gonna go left and right. You see, it's vertical. By doing the minus three, and I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do minus three, minus three on, it should be auto apply. And there you go. I'm going to still apply it just to be sure on the safe side. And one of the things that now, if I go left and right, you see that the cursor goes more left and right. It's, it's, it's clearly going left and right vertically, or horizontally. All right. And by not having that, if I go with this, the, the, the other mouse, and I'm going to go left and right, you see, it's going to go more vertical, uh, oblique, right? So it's not going straight, so I need to adjust. But my natural movement is to go like this, more or less. And it goes like that. So the minus three helps me with this mouse. So that's one of the difference. So that's what it is, uh, but uh, more or less, the only thing that I don't like is that it does it does have the plasticky feel. It, it says that there's the, the box says that it has the pro grip. There's actually zero pro grip. It says on this thing here, um, it does enable storm. If you go back whoop, on this box here, it tells you that it's got the pro grip durable coating. It has no pro grip. It's, whoop, it's a little plastic, flimsy plastic. There's no pro grip. So that's what it is. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed that video, and uh, it's gonna help you make the decision to see if you're gonna buy it or not. The only thing I can say between all my mice that I got right here, uh, it is 88 gram, uh, 86. My scale said uh, I'm gonna be able to see in game with uh, with CS:GO how it goes. We've got the sensor of the sensor of this one. Uh, it has a potential to be a, a favorite, and actually, what uh, one thing that I do? Oh, I'm gonna do the last test. The test that I do is the push test with the, the, the cord, it's a braided cord, right? Uh, one thing that I did with this one is that the EMP is very soft, it's the, there's no pull on it. The XTD, was, uh, the XTD was stiffer so you could pull the mouse with the, the cable. The EMP is perfectly fine, there's no kink, there's no, it's not going to pull that, that's great. Uh, the navel was the worst of the cable, you can't even still see the, how stiff the cable is. That's it. From the box it was like this. and. If you put the bungee, uh, a bungee thing there, uh, it, 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 it alleviates that. But still, you can still uh, do that, and then you can still you know, pull the mouse around quite a bit with that. Uh, that's one thing. Let's do the test here with that, and I'd like to do it. You know what? It's still stiff. Uh, if I compare with the EMP, take it here. The EMP is very soft, all right? So the EMP, there's no, you know, there's no way you can pull the mouse. That cable is soft. Uh, if you do that with this one here, You see, you can do that. So this is stiffer. This is the stiffest. Uh, this is very soft, and this is pretty stiff. So they could improve a little bit on this one. They could have made it as soft as the EMP. Don't know why they didn't do it. Uh, it's weird, you know. The, the little the little brother doesn't have the same cable as the big brother it should have, but it doesn't. Uh, basically, Rocat. Once again, 
put back this uh, the the coating the, the the nice coating of the uh, military pure military on the EMP and on the pure keep the sensor on the EMP please get rid of these stupid uh, bands here that are not nice because you can't even see a break in the light I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but you can see little specks and and, and it's not uh, you can see it I think here you can see with the camera right here you've got breaks into the light here it's not nice the XTD did not really have that the XTD was smooth you see there's no really of that thing there but here you got all these little you know the light is not smooth it's not nice so anyway so uh, remove this light put the full Rocat logo illuminated if you can I know there's the, the, this over here but uh, you know I love the illumination illuminate the, the logo on the EMP please illuminate the logo get rid of these bars there everything is perfect on this mouse just put the coating and we're gonna be in very good business with that uh, this one just bring the coating on it the rest is pretty good I even the weight I like it I live with the, the buttons here uh, but uh, just put the little coating on this and that's the freaking fantastic perfect mouse and put the cable a little bit uh, softer and that's gonna be an amazing amazing mouse it's gonna be a very good mouse it could be an amazing mouse almost there all right so there you go hopefully you enjoyed the video and that it was helpful for you guys once again I am a paid customer I pay for for all my mice all of these beautiful mice here basically what they land in Canada they all cost me about $150 Canadian uh, you know so uh, I pay for that so when I do my comments is I'm not trying to please anybody because I pay every cent for these devices all right there you go thank you for watching if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but tell me why you didn't like it and also uh, if you haven't had a chance to do that already please subscribe to my channel I it gives me an indication if what I'm doing is helping people all right thank you for watching see you next time ciao